Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Dead End here in City Skylines. Where last episode guys, we started the infrastructure of our brand new town in the middle of a desert, which is pretty much where every town is right now, as you can see right here, which is near the dam near the prison and potentially is going to be heading quite close to a brand new fishing town slash village in the future now before we jump into it guys i asked you guys to give me some name suggestions in the comment section down below for last episode of what we can call this new town and there's a bunch of beautiful suggestions guys but there's one in particular i'm gonna pretty much redame it now before we jump into guys if you are enjoying this series and want to see more then please make sure you smash that like button down below if you're new right here then make sure you do subscribe so you are notified when that next episode does come out but we are back and here is the beautiful town so before we rename it then just kind of give you a bit of a, of a recap of what's going on right now we have the big it used to be like a double roundabout we got the big road coming all the way down from Flood right now, uh, which kind of intersects the road coming from the dam, the road going into the prison, and even the road going all the way down to our rancho and out of the region. We've kind of then mixed it all up into one big roundabout with a big overpass highway, and a couple of on and off ramps as well to really kind of connect this place all up. Uh, we have the railway finally coming all the way down, which we're going to kind of change it all. Rather than the rail line ending in flood, we're going to make it end in drought and then do a new line coming from here all the way down to this town. So we can utilize this big area a whole lot more. Now, the name of it. The name, the name, the name. Now, I sent a comment. And this name is pretty much a collaboration with your boy David Durrett. Again, if I pronounce your names incorrect, I do apologize. But in the comments, your boy David Jurette and Axel Wolf uh, were discussing a simple name. Your boy David goes, what about Last Chance? And then your boy Axel pops in and goes, what about Last Chance? And like how we got Lost Wages. And then uh, your boy David comes back with, what about Last Chances? And I'm thinking, yo, this name's getting super duper funky right now. Together, they have came up with the name of Last chances and oh if i can i can't even spell it right <laughs> last chances now the reason for this right now which would have been last chance is because it is the last town that people see on the way to the prison so it's quite fitting that we call it like the last chance that they get of a good life before they end up in the slammer and obviously, with the kind of names on this area right now, El Rancho, Port Exporto, and what kind of jazz, Last Chances is perfection. So guys, really do appreciate it right now in the comment section down below. But we do need to get things rocking and rolling then. So, first things first then, do we have water? The answer is no, we don't. So let's quickly get this all connected then with some water. So we're going to do like a very, very kind of basic grid. Get the water going all the way across. There we go. I'll actually get this one connected down to here. Um, la -dee da -dee da All the way up to there. Little bit just hanging out over here. And there we go. So th what we've got right now, the grid format or kind of the zoning, it's all covered by the water. Now, eventually, we're probably going to have this train line scheduling all the way over, but it's elevated high enough that it won't be any issues for the highway or the roads down below because we've kind of sunken them down rather than the overpass that which they pretty much originally was. So I ain't got no worries about this. So we are quite happily right now ready to zone as much as we need. So what I'll do first and is I'll zone the commercial, which we're going to have the commercial as they come out of the train station just here. Then we'll do a couple of little pockets of commercial, like I'll do a nice little section just here in the little crossroad area. There we go. We'll do a little store just there. Uh, we'll get a little bit set up over here. Actually, on this bit here, we're going to do a nice little kind of shopping area going around this central section. And uh, that might be as much of the commercial that we're going to throw in within this area. So it's going to be predominantly all residential anyway, so I might as well just go a little bit... Cr no, well, I won't say crazy, but, you know, go a bit trigger happy. It might be easier to paint it all in, right? With all the residential right now. 
Uh, it might be easier, to be honest with you, and we're just kind of coating this whole area. So, bam! And then just getting rid of the bits that I don't technically want. So I don't want it too close to the actual highway themselves. These bits here, going to take the edge off to that extent. Now on this side, same again. Don't want it up to there. Keep it kind of away. And uh, yeah, that should be okay just there. And that's literally it. Like, the, the town of last chances, that is pretty much all I want for these guys. Again, i got to spend that residential demand, get more people living in the region. Now, it's going to need uh, a little medical clinic and whatnot, and I'm thinking, what could we potentially go for? I can go for, what's this over here? The medical uh, medical helicopter depot. The community pool. Is there like a small, uh, we got like a small clinic we could use. Uh, Metropolitan Hospital. Those all seem a little bit big, so I might as well just stick with the generic medical clinic. That's 100 patient capacity, which should be okay. Now, throw that just there. Let's put it into play mode then, so we can slowly start getting stuff done. Oh, we also need to bring power to this area too. Now, uh, fire and police. I'm going to do the firehouse just there. We'll do the police opposite just here. Um, now... Death care. We do have some death care further up there, but we're going to need some kind of nearby too. So why don't I squeeze a little bit of death care at the very end of one of the areas? Maybe throw it in just up here. Just at the end, kind of slightly out of the way. And that handles everything on that kind of side of it. Now we do need electricity. And I could run some electricity all the way down from the dam, which would make so much sense. So should I kind of have this running along? Will it go over the edge? If I bring it to there and then elevate that up as much as possible and then bring it right down. So where's the snap? Snap is there. And then right down to the bottom, to zero. So not quite touching it just yet. Well, I'll go, I'll go across to... Oh, no, 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 there, there we go. There we go. We have a little bit of power. Now, granted, I do have to get it all connected up, which it will kind of slowly do that itself anyway. Uh, but I'm going to add in a couple of little parks here and there to kind of bulk this area up a bit more. Um... That's not much of an elevation change there. I, I, I want to try and squeeze something at least in here. Maybe not the normal kind of generic stuff. I mean, I'm not going to drop a casino down. But, like, uh, give them something a little bit... Oh, a baseball field. That's good. This small little town could maybe utilize something like this. Um, so, it's completely out of the way. Unrelated. But I'm going to throw that in just there. Uh, <laughs> Then we do have the other stuff as well, plazas. I could do like a little bit of a track and field. We'll go for like a little bit of a, uh, is this a tennis court? No, basketball court. And I'll place that literally right there at the very end. Ne near the highway. What doesn't scream breathing in pollution like being near a highway? I have a little bit of a, no, that's all beach stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Scrap all those ideas. And then we'll go and stick down like a generic park next as well. So park with trees, too big. Uh, that could be a decent size if I implemented it in, let's say, just there. So I'm having these in, kind of near the edges of the road there, so they're not living too close to it. And it does have a little bit of a dirt track that we can lead off of this. So I bring that to... Oh, yeah, I put the anarchy on anyway. So if I click there... Oh, the snap's quite early. Can I take it all the way? Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. And there's no way for me to dip down here. So what I could do is utilize a little bit of a dirt path leading into here. I'm going to dirt path so you don't really see much of it going on. And then here then. We'll just go straight up and straight down. It's a decent way to kind of connect the both sides. Yeah, why not? Why not? And then here, 
I don't know why I've chose Dirt Path for this. It's, it's all because of the park, isn't it? It's the park's fault, guys. Alright, bring it in. Bow it out a bit more. Just to there. And we should be able to then... I don't know if it's going to kind of cause much of a bend. I'm hoping it doesn't. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll do some crosses here then on the road. So, Chris Crossy. We'll do one there. There and there. And that should work out really well for us. There's no need to do anything else with it. Everything else is all good. So these will eventually get their power. The, the connections will eventually meet in the middle. <clears throat> now, what's that like on the old job front? We're still 3% unemployed. We've still got a long way to go to kind of give them all the stuff that they need and all the peeps in here. But let's now take a look a little bit of the uh, kind of um, public transport side of it while this slowly builds up. So what I want to do then is going to the actual train lines themselves, which for us, it would be the dark blue one. This one here comes, if I look at it from this view, it pretty much starts all the way in the sandstone industry, tears through tumbleweed, goes down to then drought, cutting through the shorter route, then into flood. Now, if I killed it off in flood, right, so if I cancel... Where is it? That off. It means it completely ends here. Right? So if I then... See, I can't even get it to... Um, snap on. Oh, there we go. Delete that. Okay, perfect. It ends there. So what I need to do in, in, that kind of, in the grand scheme of things is then bring this up. And if I brought this up a bit further as well, and cut that in, to then cut that in, and then with the power of the move it tool, because there's no other line going down here anyway, so I can literally start one. I mean, I can start one just there. I didn't really need to do all that kind of stuff, but it's throwed it anyway. Uh, we should then go from uh, drought into flood. Then all the way down to last chances. And then pretty much all the way back to then here. Right, what's going on with you? I'm not sure what's going on with the yellow one, but hopefully that works out well. So there we go. Orange one's all in. Which will now try, kind of change the colour of the orange one so it's a bit more easier to see it. Which will be train line 6, right? Is it this one? Yeah. And we'll make this... Can I make it reddish? Pinkish? We'll make it pink. There we go. So we've got a new route now hooked in. So this becomes the big interchange. Because it's got more platforms, more capacity to kind of uphold uh, more passengers. Rather than this train station here being the crisscross one. It should work out pretty well for us. And, uh, and, you know, bring passengers all the way down to here. Very good. Very good, Sidiac. You're amazing. <laughs> but we'll see what happens anyway as time goes on. So the power's now connected all the way over, by the looks of it. That needs to be filled up, but it will do as time goes on. Now, we do have eventually kind of room then to expand the town going around this way. I don't know whether to ever have any industry in. I don't think so, because if I do build the fishing town around here, the fishing's going to be the industry, isn't it? So that would kind of be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. And this town is small enough right now that it's really easy to walk to and from the actual train station itself, so I don't need to really worry too much about buses. There's a few people waiting already, and there's, oh, there's a train already here. Hello, train. Two passengers gone off. A few passengers now getting on. And then off it skedaddles all over again. So it'll take a while before people move in and this area is fully built up. But we've got trains tearing left, right, and center right now. Crisscrossing the road, as you can now see. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful right now. <laughs> Uh, anyway then, so how's everyone else looking then? How are we looking over here? 
in our uh, Las Vegas Funland. Not really making that much cash, are we, boys? Not really making that much cash. Uh, but things are still push progressing in the right direction anyway. This little downtown area, which is all kind of like touristy buildings, seems to... Uh, touristy commercial, actually, which seems to be doing pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, We've got a few of our little kind of... Look, look at the skyline on that. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I really like the way we've gone about doing it. I really do. It's quite a cool little town, that is. It really is. Um, okay, then. So, another thing I want to look at is the industries. Because they all have the ability to produce the goods, but they don't have the ability to store the goods anywhere. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, then, is in the local areas nearby, where this obviously produces petroleum and plastics... I've got options in terms of I can store it all locally or do I kind of store it somewhere else? Because I eventually want to go on to create the unique factory buildings. Oh, we got a little bit of a, um, I about to say a little bit of a train jam, but they all seem to be moving. That's a point, yeah, because they, I always find that this down here seems to be quite busy. I don't know why. But let me, let me take a look at these um, factories anyway. Not factories, warehouses. So if I was to build like a big boy... I can store petroleum and is it plastics, right? So I could drop you down here, and then I could drop you down there to store locally uh, plastics and petroleum. Now, take a while. The, all of a sudden, now just kind of go vroom <laughs> and just fill these uh, these little warehouses up. But I don't know whether it's a good idea to kind of store it locally. Is there any need for me to do it locally? Or should I, you know, do it all? Because I do want to eventually create the unique factories and whatnot. So we might see a little bit of traffic here. We might see a little bit of a slump in our revenue. Because rather than selling it, they're now going to store it. We'll do the same thing over here then. Because these guys obviously produce metals and glass. Now, it's a bit tough to kind of store it around these parts. Do we have any warehouses available? No. Be a bit tough because of the size of the buildings and the space we have available. So that's what makes me think maybe we should have like a, a warehouse area. That's what makes me think that anyway. So already 1% filled up. <laughs> they got a long way to go. <clears throat> A long way to go, but I can then eventually start pumping it out. But I feel like I need to expand the industries anyway. Um, can I do it? We can definitely do it down here. Where would we throw the, them in over here? I mean, we've got storage over there, generic storage. I mean, against these roads here. So these guys are, uh, are producing is uh, animal products and flour is what they're producing. So if I went for this, which they stick out, or I could go for the big boy. See a big boy right there, and then maybe a big boy up here. How does it look for both these areas? Well, if I flip this onto this side. So maybe it's off. I mean, it's on the road that they enter in. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. So flower as well. And we'll sort out some of the landscaping here. So let me quickly pause. Uh, up the brush size. Da -da 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 Gonna push that round so it looks like it's all kind of part of it slightly. Voila! Beautiful. So we'll see how that progresses as time goes on. Alright, we'll try and fast forward. Or whatever the game considers fast forward at this moment. Uh, as our little town over here doing then? We're slowly still building up right now. Ooh, so that's waiting for an intercity train to come in right now. Alright, that should then should skedaddle out of here very soon. There we go. I wonder how many people are getting off the intercity train. 35 passengers. Now are they actually getting off here? Oh yeah, it's quite a few people. Nice. And how many on this one? 100, 450? Oh my goodness me. 
We got enough trains? <laughs> uh, right to me, Vinland. How many people are on this one? Oh, 787? Not that many, then. But when you look at it, though, there is quite a fair few people waiting. Can you all hurry up, please? People need to be picked up right now. God damn it. But yeah, Lost Chance is going to take a little bit of time. So, you know. Trees. Uh, toggle trees. How do I deselect? Reset. Can I reset my... um? Because the difference right now, I'm using the brush between this series and my other series. So, hold on. New brush. Let me, uh, because this one's actually the, the Fool's Opolis. Fool's Opolis. Brush. Add that in. New brush, which the new brush for us is only the palm trees and palm plants. Size, we increase. So I, I can dot this all around these areas and then when they start to slowly build upon and within them it will slowly start to get rid of a lot of the trees as, as it then replaces it with buildings and then depending on what's left over will go a little bit more dense but when new buildings come into play, it'll get rid of a lot of the trees. So, will it do what it's got to do naturally? There we go. That one's now built up, which got rid of a few trees. It's just a shame it takes so long. I mean, we need any residential demand we got coming in right now is being completely spent straight away. But we'll see how it goes. Right, this little farming area then, how are we doing with all this? There's, there's, there's it was, Okay, it's starting to get filled up a bit. Not by much, a little bit coming in and out. Okay. The oil side of it, there is... Yep, starting to get filled up as well. Okay. We do have the oil industry, but I'm not too sure what to do with that just yet. The train's all okay? Yeah. Just double-checking the trains, making sure they're all okay. We do have a little bit of industry over here right now in crude. Um, I don't think it really makes that much money in crude right now, so I can't warrant anything kind of nearby. Nah. Not really. Not really. Are many people using the little walkway paths? Uh, there's one person just there. A couple of people walking down to the, um, to the base, uh, baseball basketball park. Yeah, you get the odd one or two. You get the odd one or two that are using it. Well, I think that train line's really good then. Have we got now everything kind of like merging down into here? Oh, wait, is, is the purple line here that has like so many people waiting? How many trains have we got in this? We've got three trains. It's like 400. I mean, yeah, I could add another train, but eventually that will die down. But no, because they're also going to flood. So if I upped it to six, I forget they're also using it to transfer back and forth to flood. And there's like 600 people waiting here, which is the flood station. So yeah, you do need more trains. You need many more trains. There's no question about it. It's waiting for um, the next train to pick up the next load. Off that one goes. And then do we have another one appearing? Yep, there we go. And then that should satisfy the demand as time goes on. Man, it's looking good, isn't it? Is despawn mode still off? Yeah. There's still no despawning. And we seem to be managing A-OK. -okay. Let's take a look at that traffic anyway. Um, so 80% flow. Where are we not flowing? I mean, it's red around here, but everything still seems to be moving. It's red around these mean streets, but again, everything seems to still be moving. 
red round here, but everyone seems to be moving. These guys don't like it. They never have done. They always kind of get caught up. Uh, down here, everyone looking pretty fine. I mean, like I said, there's a few red bits, but there's no like major jams. Over here, no major jams. So, how are they giving me only 80% when there's like, yeah, I get it, there's red bits, but there's no major jams? A bit of a funny one, isn't it? It's a bit of a funny one. I mean, is, is this technically classed as a gem? I mean, there's a tail end of it. It's all slowly progressing through. Hmm. Bit of a weird one, but there's nothing major that throws up any concerns for me right now. So I'm going to class it as a victory. That is literally all I'm going to do. Class it as a beautiful little victory right now. Trains are passing. So we're more passengers now using this. I assume this is going to go up and up and up, right? Like 1,400. Oh my goodness me. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people right now. It's looking very, very, very good. So we're waiting for the trains to come back in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Let's pick a load of passengers up. Which is a train on the way right now. Don't you think these areas are looking pretty glorious these days? I think they are. I can't wait for this area to be fully built up too. But it will lead us on to eventually then taking a look at building a fishing community down here. I don't know whether that train line will run down to the fishing community. If it does, would it then run down into El Rancho? Potentially out of the region? Hmm... That's an interesting one. I don't quite know just yet. I don't quite know just yet. But maybe you guys, you guys can give me some ideas or suggestions in the comment section down below. Um, all right, this should, even though it's all looking like, oh my goodness, I mean, there's so many trains right now. It should do its job. Even though there's a few trains waiting, it should do its job with it being able to wait and then the next train goes and then it moves and all that jazz. Which look like it... it handled that situation perfectly so yeah like it's it's like the roads even though we've got like big bulky and a lot of vehicles on the road they're still able to kind of navigate through where they need to get to and it's the same with the train situation so i don't think i need to be worried i was slightly worried about this little section here i think it comes in waves when there's a slight little issue so it's just one of those things i suppose right it's just one of those things but we'll end it for today then, guys, because we've got some big plans uh, coming up in the future. So I'll give this time to now build up so more and more people slightly start to move in. But so far, the population of Last Chances is nearly at 900. Nearly. I wonder what it's going to top out at. Because that would be interesting to find out, wouldn't it? Uh, it doesn't have a school just yet, but we're going to hold out for that for a minute. We are going to hold out for that for a minute until... Um, we got some more people living there because it all depends on the kind of type of jobs that are going to be available. But we've got a long way to go, boys. We've got a long way to go. But anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good.